Hey kids, Justin Shock here, the one and only. So, today I'm going to tell you about this band from the San Diego region. I think it's San Diego, it's, pretty, it's California, whatever. Uh, the Rithers. Rithers? Rithers? However you say it, I don't know. I'm not good with words, you know. Anyway, so check this out, man. This band, dude, let me tell you. Pretty fucking dope. My good friend Rick, uh, former member of the Hardcore Horror Act, um, Jason X Voorhees. We never pronounce the X's in our straight edge names. Look how the sun reflects on me. Isn't that weird? Hey. Anyway, uh, he's drumming for this band now, and you know, I'm checking this band out, and uh, I got the EP sent to me, and let me tell you, when it comes to horror punk, it's kind of stale lately. It's been pretty... I just haven't cared for it in a few years. And this band is uh, one of those bands, again, there's very few of them, but one of those bands that's really trying to change it up, and I appreciate that for a genre that, you know, made me who I am today. The... Uh, can't tell I'm driving you know this is safe um, anyway so uh, this band Rithers Rithers I, I seriously don't know how to pronounce it um, I'm sorry for that guys uh, I'm gonna post up a song and give you guys a chance to listen to 15 seconds so I'm giving you right now right 15 motherfucking seconds Anyway, so what they do, which is pretty awesome, okay, first off, they have an accordion going on, which adds like a creepy, you know, vaudeville vibe to it, which is pretty awesome. Um, and there's a lot of hot pink in their apparel and imagery, which again, really changing it up for the horror punk scene, okay? Because let me tell you, the Halloween purples and oranges really gets old quick. Not to mention it's tacky looking. But this pink, I'm, I'm actually kind of digging that style there. That It's really pretty awesome. Uh, their music itself, to me, I feel like it's if Jello Biafra sang for a surf band. Yeah. They got a really heavy Dead Kennedys vibe. Maybe it's the California thing. I don't know. Very surfy. And which, again, is amazing because there's not a lot of that in horror punk these days. Um, it's been getting more prevalent with uh, Mumula and you got that Crimson Ghost band that does all those Misfit songs in surf style. And there might be a couple others that I'm missing that maybe I just haven't heard. But... Um, you guys need to check this band out for sure, the EP. Um, I don't know if it's fully released right now, um, which is fine, but I just think that everybody should listen to this, especially if you're into horror punk at all and you feel the same way I do about it, where everybody's just trying to sound like Blitzkid. Um, they're not. They're, they actually they have a original style, original sound, original look, and it's really, really fucking good. Um, I really love this EP. I've listened to it probably about seven times um, in a row. I mean, that's how EPs work. You know, you get like four or five songs, and you're like, oh, okay, cool. Let's just keep going. Let's do it again. So it's pretty awesome. So anyway, I'm about to drive into Silent Hill. Ah. Uh, you guys just out there, man, keep it real. Listen to some good music. Listen to some new music. I try to bring you guys... You know, some new shit, new metal, new punk, new horror punk, new hardcore. Um, yeah, listen, old stuff's fine, but uh, when it comes to these reviews, I like to give you guys something new. I want everybody to listen to, you know, new stuff. You know, mix it up, uh, get some taste. All right. 
told you guys driving into the silence of hills man this is really fucking bad well see you on the other side